today's pseudo-historians, not willing to let truth or historical facts stand in the way of their personal secularist convictions, declare just the opposite, asserting that neither our nation nor its leaders were influenced by Christianity. For example, this article declares, our founding presidents were not Christians. This article similarly announces, the founding fathers were not Christians. Notice the emphasis on the word not. This article proclaims that the signers of the Declaration were enemies of Christ. And the LA Times heralds America's unchristian beginnings with an inset box declaring the Founding Fathers. Most, despite the preachings of our pious right, were deists who rejected the divinity of Jesus. In short, according to these and many other writers, our Founding Fathers were a collective group of atheists, agnostics, and deists. They didn't believe in Jesus. They weren't Christians. After all, if you look at the painting of the signers of the Declaration, who are the two founders that all Americans can immediately recognize? Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin, of course. But wait, don't stop there. Which one is Samuel Huntington? Or Robert Livingston? Or George Clinton? Or Robert Morris? Or Stephen Hopkins? Or Richard Henry Lee? Or George Reed? Or Roger Sherman? Or Elbridge Gerry? Or the others? Isn't it interesting? that we've been trained to recognize the two least religious founding fathers, Franklin and Jefferson. We don't know the others, but we're told that they were just like Franklin and Jefferson. Actually, in defense of Franklin and Jefferson, while they are the two least religious founders, least is a comparative term. They are the least religious of the group, but even they're more religious than most religious individuals today. After all, Benjamin Franklin recommended Christianity in the public schools of Pennsylvania, and he worked to raise church attendance across the state. He also made one of the nation's most forceful defenses of religion when it was attacked by Thomas Paine, the author of the infamous Age of Reason. And it was Franklin, citing numerous Bible verses to prove his point, who called for the establishment of chaplains and daily prayer at the Constitutional Convention. And these are the documented actions of one of the least religious founding fathers. And then there's Thomas Jefferson. Not only did Jefferson recommend that the great seal of the United States depict a Bible story and include the word God in the national motto, but as president, Jefferson negotiated treaties with the Indians in which he included direct federal funding to pay for Christian missionaries to evangelize the Indians. And these treaties were ratified by the U.S. Senate. Furthermore, Jefferson closed presidential documents with the appellation, in the year of our Lord Christ, thus invoking Jesus Christ into official government documents.